we're just going to bring Todd up to give you a little background and history of the place, and then we'll separate you into three groups, okay? So, Todd. Todd! Right here. Here's Todd. Oh. Todd Wolf, I'm the owner of the, the property here. Um, right now, actually, um, Terry, he is one of my tour guides. He's been here for over a year doing tours. We do tours here all the time. He's going to stand up here and talk to you guys a little bit about the history. Hi, how you doing? Jamie, okay. <laughs> um, a real brief history on the house here. Um, Wolf Manor uh, started in 19, it was uh, built in 1922. It wasn't called Wolf Manor. It was built as a private residence. And uh, the owner of that house had it for a real short time. He was killed right before the Great Depression. The house was lost in the Great Depression. It was owned by another gentleman. He uh, passed away uh, in the 1930s. He was killed by a train here in town. Um, after he passed away in 1942, it was purchased and it became the Clovis Sanitarium. It was a hospital for folks, everywhere from tuberculosis to maladies, you name it. People were treated here, all the way uh, yeah, from TB to arthritis. Um, in any case, the Clovis Sanitarium ran from 1942 um, all the way up through what, the mid 60s? Yes. Mid, the mid 60s, and it transformed basically into the Clovis Nursing Home or a uh, convalescent home for old folks. It ran as such until 1992. Uh, shortly thereafter, it was sat empty, and then Todd Wolf purchased it, and uh, it was actually the site of uh, one of the largest uh, Halloween attractions in the state of California. Uh, that stopped running, and then when Todd picked it up, it uh, was empty, and now it's uh, destined to be a haunted hotel. Okay. Uh, during your during your investigation tonight, we'll be available at the stairs to assist you if you have any questions. But you have your tour guides here, but you'll feel free to ask any questions if you have any questions about the history of the house during the breaks. Does anybody have any questions now? Now, last night's group had a lot of questions. How many people died here? Thousands of people died here. Lots we actually, yeah. Yeah, it's not just a matter of 10. Everybody came, they came here to die. And that's what people don't understand. The mansion itself, this is a myth that people don't realize. The mansion itself is the sanitarium. A lot of people called me after I tore down the hospital wing in the back and said, you tore the sanitarium down. And no, the mansion is the sanitarium. So when you guys are on your investigation tonight, you're going to see there's boxes and boxes of records, medical records still upstairs on the fourth floor. Just to let you know, too, we normally don't open up the fourth floor. So this is a special treat for tonight. Um, if you look up in some of the rooms up in the mansion, you're going to actually see some of their curtain rods um, where the patients were. There's also lights on the walls. Every bedroom in the house was a sanitarium room. So you'll see lights on the walls with a little bolster. Everywhere there was a light, that's where a bed used to be. So they had patients pretty much everywhere. Pretty creepy. In the basement, just to let you know, when someone passed away in the sanitarium, they would take the, the bodies down to the basement. A lot of people call it the morgue. Um, that would be light. Um, so anyway, a lot of the bodies were taken down into the basement, and that's also where the janitors worked. So there's some uh, documentation on one. There's a nail down there. You can see it's still down there. We've never touched them. Um, some of the things to do this from the janitors, so they're still here. So you can kind of just look at them. Just don't touch them. Everybody came. They came here to die. 